Today we ask the age old question. Will it funnel cake? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! Hey, this cotton candy randy tie-dye tea is now available at mythical.store. Get it for a limited time, daddies. Ooh, now it's summertime, and if summertime means one thing, it's butt crack sweat. <laughs> and if summertime means two things, it's butt crack sweat and carnivals. Okay, so today we're gonna take a classic carnival food on a ride it has never experienced. That'll be six tickets. It's time for Will It! Funnel cake? cake? Today, mythical chef Josh is on funnel duty. Uh, and I've always thought you looked like you had some carny blood in you. I got a whole bucket of carny blood in the fridge. Not in you, in your fridge. Yeah. I hope it's not did it, did it come from you, though? <laughs> I'm not legally allowed to say. Okay, first up, when you're hot and sweaty and need to be refreshed, you don't want to reach for that purple stuff. You want some Sunny D, that weird fake OJ drink chock full of sugar from your childhood. So, we made a Sunny D funnel cake that can kill your munchies and your thirsties. We call it Sunnel Cake. Hmm. I went through a Sunny D phase. I you come over, it. come over to my house. You had it at your house? Yeah. I just thought Tate Maddox had it, it at his house. I always thought it was just for rich people. Because Tate Maddox had it at his house. Yeah, I was. Are you sure? You, I wasn't. I wasn't Maddox rich. You, I wasn't rich. You hid. You hid the Sunny D from me because I feel like I would remember that. It was just a phase. Did man. you keep it in a special fridge? It looks like worms. No, I didn't have one of those. I'm not a Maddox. <laughs> Ooh, it's crunchy. Wow, that packs a punch. Well, it's got some Sunny what D. What did you do? Some Sunny D notes. Yeah, wow. so I took about a half gallon of Sunny D and I reduced that to those of syrup and then mixed that into a standard funnel cake batter. It's so like eggs, flour, butter, a little bit of leavening agent. Okay. Fried that off, topped it with a Sunny D syrup infused whipped cream, more Sunny D syrup, and then the powdered Sunny D. I kind of like what this what this is doing. You don't know. I mean, did you like Sunny D? You've never had it? No, I had it. You think it was gonna be orange juice, but then Maddox's you, house. You taste it and it's time. like... Like a king, I felt like a king over there. It's weird, man. Right next to the golf course. They had a golf cart. I'd drive that around and come back and get some more Sunny D. I thought I was living high on the hog, man. Get the butler to I, bring it to you. Little did I know, you had it at your house in a secret refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I ain't sharing the good stuff. If you don't like Sunny D, you won't like this. I gotta say, it was a shocking at first. It's so tart. I, I will call it refreshing. But and the say more that I, I eat love it, it, the better it gets. Mm -hmm. So, Sunny D, will it funnel cake? Yeah. Yes. Of course, you might want to go sweet with the funnel cake, but I'm a savory man. I want a big savory meal, like a whole honking chipotle carne asada burrito. <laughs> we call this carne asada. Are you sure we're not doing a carne asada burrito just so we could say carne asada? Well, it, that's probably where it started. Uh, Josh, what have you done to this? So I took an entire steak chipotle burrito bowl, white rice, black beans, corn salsa, hot salsa, sour cream, cheese, guacamole, and then I chopped that up real fine, mixed it in a funnel cake batter dough, fried that, and then the guacamole is actually in the whipped cream with a little bit of the chipotle Tabasco on top. Oh my goodness. You make it sound morally wrong, the way you talk about it. Guacamole in the whipped cream? Do you think this is morally wrong? Have you ever thought about that? Do you think we break morals Brett, <laughs> when we, we do things like this? We don't do morals around here. <laughs> I think this might be immoral, but I think it. If it's wrong, mm. I don't want to be right. If it feels good, do it. Wow, that whipped cream, it's really got that guacamole Whoa. freshness, but a lightness that is oh. a rele revelation. That is incredible. And then the cake, it has this meaty weightiness to Man, it. Man, I love this life of moral corruption. This is absolutely. Amazing, dude. I mean, this is one of the best things you've ever done. What? Yeah. Like one, in your entire life. One day we'll pay for our sins. <laughs> I think. Okay, don't go that far. It's all great, but the the, the whipped cream guacamole combo is just. <laughs> I'm so pleased by. That could it. be transferred to <laughs> to many different items, not just this. But on this, it definitely works. So, Chipotle, will it funnel cake? Yes. yes. All right, for this next one, we're interested in balancing the greasiness of funnel cakes with something healthy, you know, mm. make you feel good about yourself even right. though you're totally morally corrupt. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we decided to throw some superfoods in a funnel cake, kill two birds with one stone. We call this the 20 fried hour fitness cake. <laughs> what's a fried hour? Like, you know, 24 hour fitness. Yeah, I know that. This but what's is fried. a fried hour? 
It's what he's been doing for the past <laughs> yeah, 60 yeah, yeah. minutes. He's, you've had several fried hours. I mean, with that morning. last one, I my mind's going back to Crispy Town. I think, I mean, with you back there and us just on the mic barking, Crispy Town, it needs to happen. Oh, you let Josh do all the work. Yeah, we could just- I like what, the sound of that. You know, there, there's, being on the, being on the mic, that's, first uh, of all, this is look at that. It's just hard. I mean, what, what do you think that is? It's, a, it's Medusa. What, what's happening uh, oh, in this thing? Well, a whole lot of wrong turns happening. Um, so it was uh, a little bit of acai, some kale powder, matcha powder. There are chia seeds in there, because those do something, I think. Uh, there's a whole green juice. And then on top is a bunch of matcha powder. And aside from the acai, this is sugar-free. Aside from the acai. God. Oh, God. <laughs> that is bitter. It just tastes like fish food smells. You know that powder that the fish come up for? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That's an accurate description. You could float this on the ocean. I don't think any creature down there would come near it. Um, this is... All my happiness is gone. I was so yeah. happy. You ruined it, Josh. I was just living in my life of revelry. Oh, gosh. Throwing caution to the wind, and now you brought me back down to Earth, and Earth sucks, Josh. Sometimes I fear success. <laughs> it's it's so earthy. <laughs> this is an easy one. Superfoods, will it funnel cake? No! <laughs> you know, eels are the carnies of the sea. They're slippery, slimy, and if you get too close, they might electrocute you. So Josh made us an eel funnel cake, and we call it funnel cake. Because <laughs> eels look like funnel cakes, you know? They're all like writhing and... Take a fork. Well, it looks like you. there's fresh eel on here. Is that stated correctly? Uh, it is. So those are actually a product called angulas from Spain. They are whole baby eels. So each little strand you see is a whole baby eel, and you what? can even see the eyeball if you look closely. Hold on. Baby Hold eel? On. Come on, You're making man. that up. No, I am dead serious. Elon Hall used it in season two of Top Chef. You're not only dead serious, you're dead to me. <laughs> Hold on, there's that many eels <laughs> in the world? And then there's a whole lot of uh, Japanese barbecued eel chopped up into the funnel cake, well, hold and on. then an eel sauce whipped cream. It doesn't smell bad, though. Get a fork. Look at all the eyeballs, Link. Don't. No, seriously, look at all the black spots on the end of these things. I, I like to call it pepper. <laughs> look at the pepper. Look at the perfectly placed pepper on each one of these baby eels. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad, though. Huh. No, I think it's good. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good to watch you try to eat it. Yeah, I'll go in. Get a bitter. I'll get the boo. Get a, get a bigger bite than that. That's the bite you gave me. No, I, w I just gave you a fork. I, I was expecting you to add more to it. You gotta get some of the cream here. Yeah. Go to town, get some baby eels. You just got a dozen baby eels. <laughs> and that one little dollop. Yeah, Thank it. Thank it. If you think of it as crab meat, it helps. That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. Not great, but not bad. I need more baby eels in my life. Is I'm there some gonna, cinnamon? I'm gonna start an adoption agency. Is there cinnamon in there, or is that just like? Uh, no, that's part of the eel sauce. Is that just eat like them soy all. and sugar? Huh? You heard about the guy who adopts baby eels and then eats them? <laughs> He's morally corrupt. <laughs> he lives a life of revelry. <laughs> you know what? You know what he's done. <laughs> This works, man. Yeah, it does, man. I like it. It's unbelievable how I'll be dag. It's a super balanced flavor. It's got, it's not too fishy at all. It's savory. What? What? What, what is that spice you added in there? Uh, it's a Japanese eel sauce, which is mostly a lot of soy and sugar, kind of huh. similar to teriyaki. But that helps a lot. So I didn't know I'd ever be saying this, but eel will it funnel cake? Yes. yes. In my opinion, you haven't had a true carnival experience until you've puked after like riding the scrambler or okay, something. Yep. So we thought that you could have a funnel cake which could increase the chances of regurgitation. Oh, okay. Which brings us to Fun. pig anus in a funnel cake, which we call Rhett and Link's famous anus funnel cake. Or we could just call it the anal cake for oh, short. Gosh. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanna make sure your pig anus compote is as fresh and hot as possible. Josh. What's up? That's not whipped cream, man. No. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Josh, you are such a pain in the anus. That's just anus gravy. Otherwise known as 
If you, if, if a you, penis. If you've got anus gravy, see a doctor immediately. <laughs> oh gosh, I can see the it's it, they're little it's it's ringulets. Ringulets. Oh gosh. <laughs> Here's one. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Rhett. Your know, anniversary's coming up. <laughs> no, I don't, no, no. I don't I don't want it, but your anniversary's coming up, man. It, 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 call Christy. Rhett, will you She's be my... got nine other fingers. Will you be my co-host? <laughs> Wrong finger. Uh, well, we can pinky swear it. Will you be my co-host? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm in the anal mafia. Is that a yes or a no? That's the that's the new hot rap group. You're not answering. Yes. <laughs> yes, he said yes. When you take the ring, you don't you don't have to say yes or no if you just take the I ring. I felt like I forced it on you. I you know I don't want to I don't want you to be in a position you don't like. I would like you to take it off. Uh, oh my goodness, that's stinky. But what's happening in the cake? Well, I pressure cooked a whole lot of pig anus and also some intestines, because those are kind of more aromatic. And then I blended that into a funnel cake dough, extra thick, I know how you like it. And then I fried that and then topped it with simply just uh, anus, intestines, uh, and a little bit of cornstarch. The scent. Uh, you were thinking what I was thinking. You gotta put the anus around. You wanna thread the, 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 the cake. <laughs> gotta thread the anus. Yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> you yeah, you big, need, I got a little anus. You need to get another one. Get a bigger one. Golly, man. Loosen up. I still a little one. Okay. Well, two little anuses is equal to one big anus. Remember that. When you come to my baby eel adoption uh, farm. Look at, I didn't mean to do this, but does mine resemble something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is, you know what, we need a circumcision demonstration. Oh God. You just eat, you just eat the foreskin right off of there. And uh. Look at that, it's crazy. Uh, okay. Well, we should dink it, of course. <laughs> In profile. Dink it. <laughs> and sink it. It's so chewy. This, you're making it difficult, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, you're making it so difficult. Uh, uh, I can't have you at the booth, man, at the fair. Uh, if you're gonna uh, do that. Penis. It happened again. Uh, but for me, it's over. I, I really tried. I got it down. How did you do that? I'm morally corrupt. You, you are, you have a dark heart, I man. I eat anuses two at a time. <laughs> look at that, the heart of darkness. Uh, look at, look down in there. Uh, oh gosh, oh man, wow. I'm really hurting, guys. I'm not proud of myself. Uh, you know that, what? Does that mean you liked it? You think it will? Did uh, it? Did 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 uh, my struggle give you that impression? Uh, uh, no, I think we're on the same page. Pig anus, will it funnel cake? No. Mm. Well, we'll see you. At, we'll see you at the next carnival. Uh, <laughs> Crispy Town uh, has been reinvigorated. We'll be the ones struggling to consume our own product. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Audrey. And I'm Alex. And we're from Barry, Vermont. But right now we're in St. Augustine, Florida. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Hey, good mythical summer. Unfurl it. Click the top link to watch us try French onion soup funnel cake in good mythical mode. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We're celebrating 200 episodes of Ear Biscuits with a special retrospective episode. Available now wherever you listen to podcasts.